Hey everyone, welcome back to another TechCore Duo video. And for today, I'd like to talk about uh, printing and printing problems and how to resolve them in Mac OS. Now, uh, most printing problems can be resolved simply by deleting print jobs, adding and removing the printer, uh, for instance, from the system preferences uh, menu. So if you open up system preferences, either by the icon on the bottom of the dock or by clicking on the Apple logo and going to system preferences, you can go into printers and scanners and then from your list here you can click and remove a printer and then hit the plus sign and add the printer again you can do things like restart the computer and generally most of the time deleting print jobs uh, and restarting the computer and removing the printer and re-adding the printer will 90% 90, 90 of the time fix the problem that you're having unless it's related to the printer itself where maybe it's out of ink or there's some sort of a jam or potentially maybe some sort of a hardware issue with the printer so those things do tend to happen but other times it's ne neither of the above which is kind of the smaller percentage uh, maybe about 5% of the time uh, you might have to dig a little deeper and one way that you can do that uh, on the Mac is uh, by logging to something called CUPS, C-U-P-S. It's the Common Unix uh, Printing System. It's actually developed by Apple. It's l uh, l slightly less known only because uh, it's not enabled by default. So I'm gonna show you guys how to enable it and then we'll go through uh, the CUPS web interface so we can take a look at it together and see what options we have from there. Uh, so the first thing you'll wanna do is open up Terminal. You can do it by searching uh, using Spotlight. It's also located in your utilities folder uh, if you prefer to get it that way. All right, and then from here, what we're going to do is type C U P S C T L web with the uppercase W interface with an uppercase I, and then equals yes. And that means it's enabled. Okay, now you want to make sure to do this, otherwise uh, the web interface is disabled by default. Okay, now that we've got that entered, we can quit terminal. And let's open up a Safari window. Okay, and then from Safari, we're going to type localhost colon. 631. All right, and this brings us to the most recent version of CUPS, which is installed on your Mac. As you can tell, it kind of gives you a quick description about what it is. And if you'd like to read about it more, you can go to cups.org. But from here, essentially, what we'll do is uh, well, before I get I, I jump too far ahead of myself, if this is your first time logging into CUPS, uh, you're going to get to a window that says, hey, do you want to go to the web administration? You can click on to web administration and it'll, it'll bring you there. All right, and it'll bring you to this kind of window where I am here. So once we're in administration, you can see you can do things like add a printer, find new, uh, you know, find new printers, manage printers, manage jobs. Uh, so this is a great place to go if, for instance, even though you don't have any jobs listed in the default uh, kind of system preferences pane, or on the pr printer icon itself, the printer says there are no jobs. You can come in here and you'll see that maybe there is a job that is, was kind of stuck in memory, but it didn't actually have a uh, name uh, or like an or like a list view of the print job. You can come in here under Show All Jobs, and you might actually see one that's still active uh, or running. And also, you can actually see all jobs, uh, or you can see completed jobs, or things that you've printed uh, throughout the day or throughout the week, and it'll actually tell you sizes and uh, pretty much dates and times when things were printed. So this is actually you know good for auditing if you need to do that kind of thing. You can also go into printers here, and you can click on each one. And it'll give you a little bit of information about each printer and kind of where where it's located. You can do maintenance, you can do, print a test page, you can clean printer heads, you can cancel all jobs. So that might help in case, you know, for whatever reason, there are jobs that just aren't printing. Okay, and then under the administration, you can also do something like delete the printer. So if, for instance, you have a printer uh, that you're not able to delete uh, using the regular system preferences pane, you can come in here and it'll actually let you do that from here as well. All right, so there, depending on the kind of 
issue that you're having, you can uh, you know go a little deeper and look at like error logs to see if you had any error logs. This will ask you to log in, which will just be with your regular uh, regular login. So you can do uh, you can do specific you know advanced things here depending on what you're looking you know to do. So with each problem, there lies a specific solution. You know and that's kind of obvious, but you know you'd have to really know what your problem is and then come to this kind of interface and pick the specific kind of resolution for it. Uh, usually, most of the time, from my experience, the best way, the, the thing that's resolved the problems for me is just there's usually a job stuck in here, and I'll just delete it, and that will get the printer back into like a refresh state. In the most rare scenarios, I'd have to come in and delete each, you know, delete a specific printer from here, and then re-add it. But for the most part, uh, you really don't have to kind of log into this interface. I just wanted you to know that it's. Uh, I wanted you to be aware of its existence in the event that you know an advanced kind of problem appears and you really want to uh, kind of do a deep dive in resolving it. But in any case, uh, thank you for watching. We hope you found that useful, and we'll see you next time.